there's no, there's no bleach. Uh, morbid. Oh, deathly. All right. <clears throat> After the cessation of all altercation, a blush of laughter fell like a plush hand into a white kid glove. So tight did it shove into the satin that, like a cotton batten couch, receiving a debauch, the warm putty gave way in the slutty form, upheaving the clay. Drilled and filled to the entered center, the bombouche reveled at the levels the douche contrived to arrive at, taming the anguish with a languishing language, assuaging the seizure with a leisure that was aiming to assault her hanky-panky altar. She kneeled to take him into her throat, which made her squeal as he prodded the back of her moat. At his personal peril, she had felt the sack of seed gone feral in the portal to her grove, where he had strove to wield his mortal balls. Now simply mauls the dimply waif, of whom it is safe to sniff and sniff his besotted and besotted midriff. Then he conveniently chomps the expedient tail pouting out of her seams. He withdraws raw and soaking from her. She's hovering upon the brink of tension too long to mention. Her sink now needs to be unplugged by a dong or a plow. So the weeds drugged me asthma stops giving her asthma. She's dropped a mop onto the chalet floor and pivoted the mum like a ballet dancer to the backdoor romancer who is riveted into the doom of her womb out of which roamed daily a scaly alligator who rode her elevator and mowed the lawn of her dales, <laughs> leaving trails of slime as it climbed and crawls past her shawls when at last it could reach her fudgy peach. <laughs> Wag its flickering tongue, perhaps drag out some dickering dung for food. Queen like a budgie at what he's doing to her fig, she's pleaded for a reprieve, please. But he would not grant it unless she receive a big floppy thump, undress and retrieve a sloppy hump with a wild Roman boar who'd been baited for a lure in a woman or a child. For the size of her appetite lies whether he might be deflowered by a feather or deflowered every night. Any weather. Right. Is that filthy enough for you? <laughs> Thank you, Yehuda, for making it a little dirty. And we appreciate the reference to the birds.